Welcome back to EA Sports. Game one of this playoff showdown. Let's see who's left standing. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Centering key, and that's intercepted. Gains the zone through center. Grabs the puck in the slot. And he slides it quickly to Larkin. The Penguins look to start the transition game. And now he moves it quickly to Malkin. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Play rolls on. Moves it to the offensive zone. Works it across to Bunting. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. Latang's taking it from his own end. Sends it in deep. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck across to Kane. Tiptoes around the poke check. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Moves it to Tarasenko. Slides the puck ahead to Raquel. Shot! And there's the save! Kane stick handling in his own zone. The Red Wings are on the attack. There's a shot! Oh, what a glove save by Chari! Still lots of time left here in this frame. We're still scoreless. The Penguins win the draw here in their own end. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. Pass back to the point. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice, is in the slot area. He's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Detroit's won the defensive zone draw. Here's a chance. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Make it three in a row. And that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Big stop right there. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Red Wings take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that's turned aside by Chari. And it's kicked away. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. Shuts him down. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. The reason why he can get square to it and make the save. The Penguins take it along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Mott. Through center along the wing. Dishes it to Mott. Takes it into the slot. And he can't hang on after that hit. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, a huge hit against the wall. And you know he felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically. Pay the price. Use your body and get the puck. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Sider. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. The Red Wings got to work on offense. Oh, but somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. The Penguins played along the boards. A little crash and a banging force to the turnover. Moves with the puck at the corner. And he makes a save there. The Red Wings are in transition. Detroit's got the puck against the half wall. The Penguins have it now. 
Loses the coverage there. Here they come on the attack. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Petrie. Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important, and there's a lot of traffic in front, to make sure they have their Center's all locked up there off the draw. Detroit's on the attack. Here's a short pass to Raquel. Here they come down the right side and on the attack. Close save and the play continues. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Red Wings have taken a 1-0 lead. Detroit's got it in the defensive zone. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Drills him. Trying to shake the defender. What I love about the sequence of saves is knowing where the puck is, and his awareness is outstanding. He finds it, he makes the save, not once, not twice, multiple times. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Detroit's taking possession in their own end. Passes it over to Top. Gains the zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. Big time defensive play. The coach won't be very happy with that play, James. Listen, that's a good way to get your butt glued to the bench, especially when you have a lead. Feeds it over. And that's broken up. Fisher's lugging the puck. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. The Penguins play it along the boards. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Scrum along the boards. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. The Red Wings have it behind the cage. Receives the pass. Fires it on there. Big stop just as time expires in the period. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we've got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Huso is the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. And they win that neutral zone draw. Good use of the body to knock him off the puck. And he's knocked off the puck there. Rust's gonna play it against the half wall. Moves it over to Raymond. Gives him a jolt with that hit. The Red Wings will play it from the corner. Right in the low slot. 
swing and a miss. Great save by the goaltender on that one. Pass to Crosby. Moves it quickly over to Malkin. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Keeps possession on the play. Detroit's got the puck against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. The Red Wings win that offensive zone faceoff. Puck scooped up by Petrie. And it's a quick pass to Tarasenko. And that's blocked from someone in front. And he slides it quickly to Latang. Oh, how about that move to shake off the defender? Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Taken by Tarasenko. Puts it on net. Oh, and that's just on the side of the net. Well, this is a product of the game being so fast. James just wants to get rid of it and fires it wide. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. And off the draw, they take the puck. Petrie's got it against the boards. Into the corner now. Poked away by O'Connor. Pittsburgh's got it against the boards. And he takes the dish. Oh, big time save by Husso. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. And that's poked away in the offense and sold by Rasmussen. Huge steal in his own end. The Penguins take over on possession. Tries to get it to O'Connor. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it up through the middle from the right. And that's poked away by Aho. Takes the feed. Slides it across. And that goes off a stick. And that's intercepted by Mott. And he coughs it up with the pass. Gets in front of it. Oh, there's one more. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Quick pass to Beauvillier. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Moves it to Mata. Tries to get the puck over to Moleno. Fires it! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Blocker saved by Chari. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Here's a pass down low. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck moved over to Bemstrom. Quick feed to Pedersen. And he maintains possession of the puck. Detroit's got it in their own zone. And they turn it over to the neutral zone. And now it's over to Malkin. And that's poked away. Back to the blue line. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Husso. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Off the draw, they take possession. Now a quick pass to Sider. 
handles the pass. There's a big hit in the corner. A little banging and crashing now. Here's a short pass to Kane. Takes the shot, grabs him with the glove. Won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Back to the point it goes. And that carries off a stick. Big time stop there. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Moves it quickly over to Hayes. Uses the force on that hit. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot. Scores! A timely finish, and they've taken the lead! Sometimes you can feel the momentum swing, James, and you can tell that they're playing with more confidence, and as a result, they get a little puck luck, and they put it in. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Here in the later stages of this period, the Penguins are looking to build on this one goal lead. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot, and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. The Penguins continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. The Red Wings win the draw. Mott's moving the puck through his own zone. Grabs control of it at the point. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gets in front of the shot. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Slides it back to the blue line. They are really buzzing here on the offensive end. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. James. They had the opportunity on the power play to get back in it and get the equalizer. Now they're down by one, so they have to manage some energy here, and they have to dictate this and get back in the game. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Hayes has won the draw inside his own end. Slides it across to Raquel. 
tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. Be sure to get next year's season tickets now. This year's locations and prices without paying Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Final frame is underway here. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Red Wings are trailing in the game here, James, but there's 20 minutes of runway left, and they continue with, like they did through the first 40 minutes, managing the puck, owning it in the offensive zone. They will cash in on their opportunities. Siders got the puck in his own zone. Moves it to Larkin. On man rush. Takes a shot. Oh, fantastic stop there. And sends it just out of reach. Quick feed to Crosby. Shot. And the play on as that gets a piece of the glove. Well, he's one of the best in the league at the shooting the puck on his back end. He gets it in position. He shovels it towards the net. But the goaltender makes the save. And he slides it quickly to Malkin. Shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Looks to set up at the point now. Here he is from the slot. Denies him in close. Now these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Gaining steam here on the attack. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. Battle ensues for that loose puck from on the boards. Looks to start the transition game behind the net. He got all of that one. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Penguins look to start the transition game. Quick pass across to Hayes. Here's a chance. Makes the save with the glove. The Penguins continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Detroit's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Tries to get it over to Comfort. Here we go. Up in rush here. Here's a short pass to Kane. Oh, and a close save by Jerry. Still lots of time left in the period. Pittsburgh's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. And a great save! The Penguins in transition at center. Moves it quickly over to Kopp. Rasmussen's got the puck. Oh, what a hit on the wall! And that's a clean one, James. A great angle. Show shoulder and just laid it on thick. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Cox won the draw there on the attack. A game of inches and he puts it off the
There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry in your skating practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution and it winds up as a goal. After that last goal, the coach is showing his displeasure with his team. He's just not happy with the effort and the details at this moment. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Pittsburgh's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Crosby's won the draw here in the open ice. Ajo's got it along the wing. And takes the pass. Big time stop there. Quick feed to top. The Red Wings take it along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes that pass back at the point. With the puck hammer! Being saved by the goaltender watching that one. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. And a great save! No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. The Red Wings move it in. Puck picked up by Kane. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? What a save. I mean, how quick do you have to be to be able to get on that puck, James? Anytime it's in the low slot, you've got to be on your toes, and that's exactly what he was to be able to make the save. Detroit's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Quick feed to Debrinkit. Detroit's got him along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Larkin. Sends the pass over. And that's blocked in traffic. The Penguins have it now. And it's a quick pass to Krizlik. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Quick pass over to Latang. Slides it to Bemstrom. Leading in that late in the game, you know that the coach is going to choose players who are dependable and know exactly what to do at the right time. Putting that puck in deep is the right thing. Detroit's got control of it now from their own end. Angles it over to Fisher. And he slides it quickly to Sider. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Detroit's got the puck. Here's the last. Oh, what a save! He gloved that one! Jari's faced a lot of shots tonight, James, and he's been dialed in and made the necessary saves, but his team's been excellent in front of him, generating some offense and a reason why they have a lead. Pittsburgh's got the win off that draw. Takes it at center. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Mato's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Quick shot! Scores! Well, Chase let that down to the end and they play to the lead. Oh, yeah, after that goal, you can sense the momentum shift, James, and it's all about swinging and seeing if they can string a couple of good shifts together and get the equalizer. They've narrowed it within one. have suddenly put themselves into striking distance to even things up here in the third. And it's tough when you're on the other side of this. You can feel the wave coming and you're not sure how to stop it. So they have to find a way to continue the pace and put them on their heels and just attack the net. Turns it aside with a glove. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Getting into the later stages of this period, 
The Red Wings make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Larkins won the draw here in the defensive zone. Raymond scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Passes it over. Bats it out of midair. Scooped up along the wall by Mata. Now a quick pass to Dabrinkit. Scores! goal in the third period the win is within their reach and the coach knows it behind the bench and you can see him amped up going up and down the bench is trying to rally the troops to try and finish it off strong the penguins with that goal have gone up by one here in the third well you're better up by one than down by one james but there's a lot of runway left now it's a mindset of attack but be defensively responsible puck is dropped and play resumes feeds it over to punty takes the puck at the point no room for that one to get through. Oh, making his presence felt through the hit. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retreat Fox. And man, can they deliver bone crushing hits. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Red Wings take possession off the faceoff. Detroit's in transition. Moves it quickly over to Fisher. And rings the iron! Fisher's having a tough one tonight, James. He's been at the right place at the right time with good timing, but unable to convert as he goes off. Scores into the empty net. Counter, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. This guy was on the back end. I didn't have hands. So when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. For that empty netter, uh, quite a significant lead on their side now here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, it's all but over, isn't it? And that's a great play to be able to get that puck 200 feet down the ice when you're under pressure with the extra attacker. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Well, that's how you want to kick off a playoff series, by taking that opening win and get that momentum on your side. Well, you know, heading into the series, this is the exact game that they've been talking about that they wanted to come out on top on. It's really important to dictate play right from the onset of the series. You really want to send the message that you're here, you're here to play, and you're here to stay. A fun night of playoff hockey, and these playoffs, well, they have been intense, and they have been electrifying so far. We will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.